What is going on guys? I am Consumer Tech Review and today I'm gonna to be going over the top five best budget mechanical keyboards in 2021. I'm gonna go over the pros and the cons of each with number five being the worst of the best and number one being the best of the best. And if at any point during the video you wanna check out any of the five keyboards that I'm gonna talk about, there'll be Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada for every single one, but let's get into number five. Sitting at the number five spot is the PK001. This is an epic TKL keyboard coming in at just 40 bucks. Really nice metal build quality, a full metal deck, fantastic build quality at this price point, really refined, which is something you don't see on a lot of keyboards, especially in this price range. This uses Altemu red switches, which feel fantastic with this build quality and the metal deck. Now it's not per key lighting, it's set on the setting that it's set at, which is kind of this rainbow uh, setting, but it is very pretty and in good colors, it's bright and it's consistent, which is something you don't see at this price point. However, any day I will take bright and consistent colors with one set version of the lighting, over perky lighting that doesn't look that good. But you can also turn the lighting off completely if you don't want it. But this is a wired keyboard. Moving on to the number four spot, this is the HK Gaming GK61. This is an absolutely fantastic budget option for a 60% mechanical keyboard. This thing is sitting at just 60 to 65 bucks. Really pretty design and overall great build quality, very solid feeling and it's very, very clean. If you like a clean setup, if you like a small mechanical keyboard, this one's the one to go. Now this thing is using optical Gateron switches, which are fantastic, especially at this price point. However, that being said, if you go to the link below, you can actually choose from 13 different switches and six different colors. So there's a whole lot of customizability with this keyboard. So check the link below if you wanna customize your different, you got different colors and switches, it's crazy. RGB is per key lighting and it does have a bunch of modes and it definitely is brighter than typical keyboards. This also is a USB-C keyboard, so you can change out your cables and make them whatever you want to, which is absolutely fantastic. In this video, I'm using Ascendi cables. I just love their cables. I am not sponsored in any way, but I will have them linked below as well if you do wanna check out their Asseni custom cables are very cool. Moving on to the number three spot, that is the Wamir K87. This is a TKL and it comes in at just 84 bucks, but you might sound like that's a little bit much. However, this thing is very special. The build quality in this is epic. That's its main attraction. It is a semi-transparent keyboard the all the way through. You can see the PCB. It is so cool. And this is using Gateron switches and you can choose from red, brown, and blue switches. They feel fantastic on this keyboard, even without having a metal deck, obviously, because it's fully shine through. It's very, very solid. Now, as well as that, it is fully hot swappable and not like hot swappable without Temu's. This thing is fully hot swappable with any switch you want. It takes both three and five pin switches. Obviously, the RGB on this is absolutely amazing. Super, super bright. Obviously you have backlight for the keys as well as a 360 degree edge light and you can actually control the RGB separately from each of them, but obviously you get customizable per key lighting if that's what you want to choose. And this keyboard also has a USB-C detachable cable, which again, I'm using the Ascendi cables with, but let's move on to the number two spot, which is the Red Dragon K580 Veda. Now this is a full size keyboard coming in at just 63 bucks, which is crazy. The build quality is fantastic. It uses metal and these switches are sitting on top of the deck rather than recessed inside of them. As well as that, you're also getting a raised up bar on the top for all of the multimedia keys and the scroll wheel, which is a huge selling point for me. I absolutely love scroll wheels. It's so huge. Now this is using Altemu blue switches, which feel really solid due to the great build quality and great construction with all of the metal on here. Very solid feeling keyboard. But as well as that, it also features a bunch of macros. So if you do like recording your own macros, this has that. This has per key lighting and it also has a left and right light to kind of glow the edges of your keyboard, which looks really cool. All of that is customizable without having to get a software and the controls are very, very easy, probably the easiest in the keyboard industry. Now this doesn't have a detachable cable, but remember you're getting a full size keyboard, macros, multimedia keys, a scroll wheel, and all of that with metal construction under 65 bucks, 
That's crazy. Definitely the best budget full-size keyboard for the money. Moving on to the number one spot, that is the Royal Kludge RK84. This is a 75% keyboard, which is an awesome form factor. It gives you a super compact design with still having the function keys and the arrow keys, so it's almost like having a TKL, but it's in that tiny form factor, almost as wide as a 60%, which is awesome. Build quality is incredible. This thing is so rigid and so solid. It also has a removable frame, so if you prefer the keys sitting on top of the deck, you prefer the switches sitting on top of the deck, you literally just pull this thing off of it, or if you don't, then you put the frame back on. It's so cool that it just ships with that. Like, that's just part of it. It's free. It's so good, and I love it so much. This is using the TTC KS4 switches, which a lot of you probably won't know what those are, but they're very comparable to Gateron, so they're quite nice switches. But as well as that, this is fully hot swappable with three and five pin switches, which is amazing. And this keyboard also has macros. Per key lighting, a ton of modes. It is bright and consistent, and it's very easy to use. Now the next pro is it is fully wireless. That's right, the only wireless keyboard on this list. You can either use it with Bluetooth, and you can connect up to six devices at the same time and switch between them. You can also use a USB dongle if you don't wanna mess with having to connect your Bluetooth, or you can just use it through USB-C. But the battery on this is the biggest battery I have ever seen in a keyboard. It is 3,750 milliamps. This thing lasts a ridiculously long time. But you can also use it through USB-C, and if you do, you also have two USBs that are fully powered, so you can charge your phone or plug in your mouse or whatever you wanna else plug in to your computer. It has two of them. It's ridiculously good. This keyboard absolutely blew me away. For 70 bucks, you're getting all of that. Definitely the best bang for your buck you're gonna get in a keyboard, Royal Kludge RK84. Remember, if you wanna check out any of the keyboards in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. I do got you guys. But if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, help me out and throw a like below. And if you enjoy gaming tech reviews and tech reviews in general, I do a ton of those, so please consider subscribing. But to my subscribers, guys, I am gonna be banging out content very, very quickly. So get ready for some epic content. And if you haven't checked out my last video, that's subscribers and other people. I did this awesome desk setup that I put a ton of work into. So it'll be somewhere here. Go check it out. This was Consumer Tech Review. Thank you for loving and supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys later.